In the national debate after each mass shooting, liberals advocate gun control and many conservatives call for more money spent on mental health. Let's talk about the three biggest lies and one real truth about mass shootings, which we all need to remember were not a common occurrence 50 years ago, even though we had little gun control and government didn't spend a fortune on mental health. Lie number one, the liberals say Americans have no right to own guns. Well, the Founding Fathers added the Second Amendment to the Constitution to protect citizens from government. The American Bill of Rights was based upon the English Bill of Rights of 1689. Sir William Blackstone described the right to bear arms as supporting the natural rights of self-defense from government oppression. Lie number two, many conservatives say Americans need to spend more money on government-provided mental health because these gunmen are mentally ill. That's the theory behind these so-called red flag laws, which give courts a means of taking guns away from people whom they deem pose a threat. But what does mental illness mean in our modern society? An adolescent angry with the world is a normal child. A person who behaves abnormally due to opioids or other drugs has a brain reacting normally to those chemicals. That's not mental illness. Something else is missing. Line number three, mass shootings are racially motivated. Racial motivation, as in Buffalo, is rare in these mass shootings. There's one real truth about these mass shootings. We've become a society where families have broken down and we're all too busy to be supportive of each other. When the Uvalde gunman lost control, he had no parents around to rein him back in. The Buffalo gunman looked to online white supremacists as his confidants rather than family. The common thread in all of these shooting incidents is that the perpetrators come back from backgrounds where they have no family to resolve their anger issues. That's the cause for which we must search and the truth we must find, not gun control or spending trillions on mental health or racial indoctrination. Actor Matthew McConaughey said on Tuesday that Americans have a cultural obligation to take steps toward slowing down the senseless killing of our children. He's right. In a cultural, it's a cultural obligation, but where he's missed the point is that it's also a cultural problem.